Now, you know my next guest from his documentary film work are his great Ami on the Streets videos on Fox News. Well, he's with us tonight to share, well, some pretty important political news from Chicago. Please welcome back to our show, my friend, Mr. Ami Horowitz. Ami, welcome back. And I think let's just get right to it. You've got a fairly big announcement that you're making. Governor, I'm running for president, if you can believe that. <laughs> I am running for the Democratic nomination for President of the United States. The Democratic nomination. Now, let's get into why did you choose to run as a Democrat? Now, clearly, I, I know I know your audience is thinking, well, Ami Horowitz, maybe not the perfect fit with the Democratic Party. But the reason why I'm doing it, Governor, is because I feel the Democrats have moved so radically to the left. Bill Clinton would never be able to win the nomination of this party. I'm not even sure Barack Obama could win the nomination. That's how far left it's become. It's become the party of late-term abortion, the, uh, the party of open borders, the party of socialism. And I felt that that is so damaging, not only to the United States, which it obviously is, but I think it's, it's damaging to the Democratic Party itself. I feel like most of the Democratic electorate is not where their leadership is. So I felt like I want to get on the stage. I want to qualify to get on the Democratic debate stage and speak truth to power. You are seriously filing the paperwork uh, taking the steps and doing the things necessary to actually become a bona fide candidate for the Democratic nomination. I'm officially a Democratic <laughs> candidate for president. We have the attorneys, we have the accountants, we have it all good to go. And no, I'm doing this because I really want to bring some sanity to the discussion. Now, the way they, they've set up these debates, we didn't qualify for the first debate, but we're trying to qualify for the second debate next month. And I need 65,000 individual donors. And by the way, we're already ahead of a number of the Democratic candidates running. We have, we're almost halfway there to the 65,000, so we have 30 days to hit that number to qualify, and that's why I'm here to ask even one dollar, a single dollar, to amiforamerica.net will get me on that debate stage, and that's why I'm here. So it, let's just say you get on the stage. Um, will the other candidates and will the moderators take you seriously? Look, it's, it, obviously that, that's a worry, but the truth is, these are people who are running away from normative political values that we have in this country. And even the so-called moderates on the stage, governor, these are not moderates. Pete Buttigieg, who's the flavor of the month of the Democratic Party, this is a guy who not only full in a full throat supports uh, late to abortion. This is a guy who has called for taking off Thomas Jefferson's name off institutions and off of buildings because he was a slave owner. When, when Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez just the other day compared our southern border to Hitlerian death camps, not a single Democratic nominee called her out for that. Hmm. I want to make sure that I call her out and call them out for not holding her account to what she believes. Well, Ami, we are honored that uh, you were willing to share the announcement on our show. We're gonna be following the campaign. Now to find out all the details on Ami Horowitz and his illustrious political efforts, you can go to amiforamerica.com or on Facebook at Ami for America. You can always follow him on Twitter at Ami Horowitz.